everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. In this video, we're going to go over the basic ingredients you need for a concrete countertop mix. There are a lot of ways you can mix concrete for countertops, but this recipe is a proven recipe. It's a high quality mix from our friends over at the Concrete Countertop Supply. Now the weights used in this countertop recipe will produce one cubic foot of concrete mix which is equal to about six square feet of concrete at two inches thick. Now the cost to make this mix is about $22 per cubic foot or about $2.75 per square foot at an inch and a half thick. So remember, it, I mean, it's always a good idea to do a test sample before tackling the whole project, but this is a pretty proven recipe. You can be, you can be confident with this. Now what is the mix made of? Well, it's made of 32 pounds of Portland cement, type one or type two, eight pounds of Alto Paws, which is a pozzolan and a mineral admixture, 90 pounds of sand or aggregate, which is kind of like a 50-50 mix, <clears throat> water, 125 to 200 grams of PVA eight millimeter fibers or fiber mesh reinforcement, and then 40 to 120 milliliters of Optimum 380 Premium Super Plasticizer, which is just a water reducer, so you don't have to use as much water. And then the last thing is 10 to 30 milliliters of C64 Defoaming and Densifying Admixture, which basically this just helps remove little tiny air bubbles. So let's talk a little bit about the ingredients and what they are here. Federal White Cement Type 1. This is a true Portland cement manufactured with selected raw materials to ensure neg negligible amounts of iron and manganese oxides. So it doesn't produce the gray color of normal Portland cement. Now if you want a gray colored countertop, you, you could just use the normal Portland cement. But if you want a white one, then you want this Federal White Cement. Alto Paws. This is a premium blend of highly reactive pozzolans and mineral admixtures containing 50% post-consumer recycled content. And these are designed to produce a superior high-performance concrete when combined with the Portland cement. So what are some characteristics of this? It reduces the concrete permeability, which means it doesn't let water absorb into it as much. It decreases the effervescence and controls any type of alkali silica reaction. It improves the strength of the concrete and the density. It improves the color and the appearance. It reduces shrinkage drying. And it's kind of like an off-white color. It's, it's not like bright white, but it is white. And it, it improves the surface characteristics. So it's more scratch resistant. And some of the directions for use the recommended dose is about 15 to 25% of the cement replacement. So instead of just using cement, you take out a little bit of the cement and you add some of this in place of the cement. And it gives you all those increased characteristics of the concrete. So the next ingredient is the PVA fibers or the reinforcing concrete fibers. Um, these are about a third of an inch long. They are high performance fiber mesh for concrete countertops. It's cut like steel. These PVA fibers have high tensile strength and they have a greater modulus of elasticity than regular concrete. So it, it, what it's saying is it kind of allows a little bit of flexibility in the countertop without it cracking. So unlike steel, the PVA fibers develop a molecular and a chemical bond with the cement during hydration and curing. Very important. This high bond strength makes PVA fibers very tough to pull out during the bending or any tension on the countertop. Now another ingredient, Optimum 380 Premium Super Plasticizer. What, what this does is super plasticizers help in reducing the amount of water you need, which helps reduce the shrinkage drying and keeps the concrete countertops hopefully from not cracking. So, Modified polycarbonated high-range water reducer admixture formulated to produce self-compacting 
tight concrete. It produces extremely high spread rates, makes it flow really easy, high early strengths with improved densification of the surface, so it dries really quick and gets strong really fast, improves the workability and fluidity without having to vibrate the concrete a lot, improves dispersing action resulting in concrete that almost places itself. I mean, you do have to move it around a little bit with your hands, but you don't have to tap on it with a hammer, and you don't have to vibrate it a lot. The greater water reduction and lower dosage rates than comparable superplasticizers, and again, it improves the flow, which makes it easy to, easy to install. Typical dosage rates are approximately 40% less than the standard melamine and nephlaphine-based superplasticizers, which maintaining the same percent water reduction and these are available in you know one gallon five gallon or 55 gallon sizes the recommended dose is about three to five ounces per 100 pounds of cement so if you're buying bags of cement in a you know a 94 pound bag which is what they usually come in you know you're going to want about three four five ounces per bag and then the last thing in the ingredients is the c64 concrete defoamer and densifying admixture. This is a highly concentrated defoamer and densifying mixture, specially designed for self-consolidating type of concrete. One quart of this will produce over 200 cubic feet of concrete. So, I mean, you're not gonna be doing that much in a countertop for sure. But what it does is it reduces the trapped air in the concrete, which reduces the bug holes. You know, when you strip the forms, you're less likely to have any bug holes which you'll have to patch with a slurry. It improves densification, so it, it helps keep water from being absorbed into the concrete. In, increases the compressive strength, which develops stronger, denser, harder concrete. And the dosage is about 10 to 20 milliliters per gallon of mixed water. That's it guys, those are the basic ingredients for this concrete countertop mix. I'll have the recipe, okay, down in the directions below, I'll also have uh, links to all these, all these ingredients or their equivalents down there also for you to, you could click on them and check them out. You could click on them and buy them there if you have to, or you could visit Concrete Countertop Supply and, and you could talk to them and get them there. But uh, that's it guys, that's the basic concrete countertop mix that uh, you can put together yourself and make your own countertops. All right guys, we'll see you on the next video.